What's going on everybody? How's it going? Got a pretty cool one today, I think. Gonna be a bit challenging, but I think I can do it. All right. I think we can do it, folks. I think we can do it. I'm ready to go. And uh, yeah. So if you're here, please be sure to hit the like button, share and subscribe. If you know anybody else who'd like to watch this painting happen right now, definitely uh, let them know. Um, so yeah, here's the reference photo. It's a bit chaotic, but uh, I plan to really simplify this a lot. Um, yeah, paint really loose, paint fun, you know, we'll just see what happens see what ends up how this thing evolves um, yep yep so uh, yeah I guess I'm just gonna get into it try to just uh, start pretty bold here look at this I got some fresh new uh, ultramarine violet deep on my palette today so pretty nice got some nice fresh purple paint play with. Don't know how much I'm going to actually use it, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. If anybody's wondering, I guess I could show it. These are these are the colors of my palette. So if anybody's wondering like what kind of colors I use, I use just a few of these usually in my paintings. So these are kind of, that's my whole palette. So just for anybody tuning in, if you want to pause that and see, those are the colors I use and everything. But I only no I normally only use a handful, and uh, yeah. Anyway, just realized I never really mention it that much, so I'll try to talk about the colors and stuff I'm using as I go. So, how's it going, everybody? Lane, Amanda, Jeremy, Michael, Tom, Enrique, Jeremy again. How's it going, bro? Glad you're tuning in. Dima, hello. Potato, insane. Potato. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to, I think I have an overall color scheme in mind here. So this one's going to be cool. Uh, I'm just going to mix up some ivory black here, which is bas basically just going to be gray. And uh, maybe some yellow ochre as well. Maybe some ultramarine blue or something. I don't know. I'm not sure yet where to go with the sky but I want to do I want to try to wash the whole thing just one wash this is really my focal point right here and it's going to be balanced by this kind of darker boat here so it's going to be interesting to try to balance this stuff the background is going to we're going to keep that the background so mixing up ivory black here maybe a little bit of yellow ochre um yeah I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. See what this ends up looking like. Uh, just put it down. I kind of like it being warm, you know? It kind of looks interesting. Having a warm vibe to this thing overall. You can go a little bit cooler as it goes down, maybe. So the sky is going to be pretty light. The sky is going to be pretty light. Just mixing up uh, cadmium red with some yellow ochre now. I'm trying to get like some kind of color like this. Some of the roof tops here. let that kind of bleed some gray rooftops in there as well so I'm kind of going for I'm trying to go for like a I have an interesting color scheme in mind for this one that I saw in another photo of a very 
probably just a different part of this harbor. Um, so I'm trying to, I'm going to try to stick to an interesting kind of color scheme here. My best anyway. this all to bleed right now. Hopefully it'll be a beautiful painting. And I'm trying to start out pretty bold in the beginning here. Sorry, I'm staying quiet, folks. Just trying to focus here a bit. Trying to get the kind of colors I'm looking for. Okay. <clears throat> So just mixing up a lot of, as you can see, kind of warm, I know there's a big glare on it right now, but a lot of warm kind of colors and stuff, warm grays. It's going to be a little blue in the water, so we'll kind of counteract all this. So you got a lot of water here, got a lot of Try to keep some window shapes and things.
Hello, Nora. Mixing up ultramarine blue, ivory black, a little bit of transparent red oxide. I'm going to be bold with what I'm doing right now. You know, it's the beginning phase, so I want to try to stay loose for the most part. Everything happening here. Gonna look pretty wild in the beginning. Is the video buffering for you guys? It says YouTube is uh, buffering, but I, it's not on my end. Um, I have a pretty good connection. Just wondering if it's buffering for you guys. It's not a lot of chat today. I don't know if everybody's just like wondering how this is gonna turn out or what's going on. Not a lot of talk to folks here today. That's fine, no worries. Just wanna make sure everything's good. Okay, good for you, good for you guys there, okay. Yeah, this one should be good, but we'll see. We'll see how it really turns out. Okay, it looks like all of this can just be covered. Try not to pay too much attention to the photo because I don't want to get like bogged down in all the details and stuff, so. It's just a few things I got to watch out for, a few shapes, light shapes. But at this stage, not too worried. All this cover. I think that's a good first kind of stage. Setting the scene for the rest of the painting, I think. Okay, cool. Seems like some people are getting buffering and some aren't, but I don't know, having YouTube's giving me problems. One of those days, you know, it happens. All right, let's try this down and see where we're at, I guess. Never painted something like this. This one's pretty complex. I mean, there's a lot going on, so got to be careful here. Going to be more careful as I move forward. But I think this was a pretty good wash, pretty good start. I kind of like this warmer sky. It's kind of interesting, you know. I've never really done like a cloudy sky that was warm, so 
Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying new things, experimenting here. I've got a very gray kind of look going on, but I am going to push some of the color on the boats and kind of the focal point. It's kind of what I want to get in first, or at least have the most a little bit of color. The background buildings, I'm kind of toning those down a bit. I don't want those to be super, you know, colorful or anything because um, there's the reference. For me, the focal point is right on these boats here in the water. So that's what I'm, my, I want to focus on. Uh, the buildings, they're kind of, a, you know, it's a background. So I may add stronger color to some of them, but I want to keep them back there. You know, I'm going to have to redo or paint in some of the roof. You know, we'll do some windows and stuff. But for the most part, this is what I want to say. You know, these boats here in the water and this kind of boat uh, counteracting these lighter boats. So that's my hope. It's kind of my idea, I guess. So see what happens. What drew you to this medium, Brandon? Uh, <laughs> what's going on? So, um, what drew me to this medium? Uh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Yes, my, the boats are my focal point. That's what I was saying. Um, so what drew me to this medium, I actually started painting in watercolor in when I was in college in 2010, 2009. 2010 is kind of when I first started watercolor. I only did it for like half a year, maybe one year almost. And then I kind of gave that up and I went to acrylics. I wanted like stronger colors and just different kind of feel to it, you know, uh, to the paint. And I don't know, I, I, I went into acrylics and then I went into oils. And then when I got back into watercolor is when I wanted to travel, I was started traveling and I wanted to do plain air paintings. You know, I wanted to paint outside on location and the oil painting setup I had, even though it was very small, it was still very heavy. I tried it a few times, like traveling and stuff, but it's just too complicated and uh, annoying. And I was, I wanted to take a trip on a plane to Alaska. This was 2018 in May, pretty much three years ago now, I guess. And I was worried about like carrying the tubes of paint on the plane. And then like, how am I gonna carry solvent around? You can't really do that. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try watercolor. And I brought a little sketchbook. I got some watercolors and uh, I found some videos online that were kind of inspiring to me. And I was like, I'm gonna try watercolor sketching, just small stuff. And uh, I haven't looked back since, you know, I, I kind of got away from the oil paint from then on. And um, I really like the, the quickness of setting up and cleaning. Like I've never cleaned this thing. I never cleaned my palette. Like, with oil, you can't do that. Like you always have to clean your palette and scrape the paint and like squeeze out more paint. It's just a big problem, you know? So like, yeah, this is just way easier. You know, I can squeeze out all the paint ahead of time and then I can just take this palette with me and there's no problem about the airport. No one says anything. It's just dried paint on a palette, you know? And I did it all carry on, you know? So, okay. Anyway, so that that's kind of what drew me to this. So this kind of uh, didn't really work out as, as well as I had hoped, but it's okay, I guess. Um, I should have had a little stronger pigment, but I can, I'll add, I don't know, we'll go for it. I don't know. I think I'll start with the rooftop, see what we get here. You know, I wanted some of the roof to blend into the sky, so. Uh, I guess I might have to, have to, uh, Figure that out a little bit. No, the buildings could be the focal point for sure, but I've just decided what I want to be the focal point. Cubs win. 
So I decided I want to really highlight the white in the water, the reflections. I want the boats, these white boats to be the focal point. Um, so it could be the, it could be the buildings, but this kind of just makes, I don't know. That's just what I wanted to try. So <laughs> that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going with. Okay. Mixing up some like cadmium red, ultramarine blue. and yellow ochre and stuff just trying to get like an interesting like brownish thing for these rooftops like i said i want to paint this pretty loosely you know and i kind of want this part of it to bleed a little bit I don't want it to be like so perfect or detailed. And... Just kind of varying my mixtures a bit and stuff. Man, getting a lot of glare today, huh? Sorry about that, folks. Let's see. Let's try to lighten that up. There we go. I think that's it's more of what I'm looking for, you know? Just something back there that stays in the background, you know? Um... Yep, I really like really like watercolor, so just sticking with it, just trying to do my best. But I still paint pretty small, you know. Many artists do like much bigger. They do like four times this size or something, you know. But it's all good. Uh, okay. Where do we go from here? Yeah, let's just go dig into the focal point, I guess. Let's just try to figure out. What's going on right here? Or maybe over here, something. Let's try to get this dark in. I know this, I know it's gonna be darker, so might as well try to dig into that a bit. Um, no worries, Amanda, have a good one. Hope it goes well, enjoy yourself. It's all good. I'll handle it from here. Seems the chat's pretty quiet today anyway. Do you know a website where you can find reference for landscapes and cityscapes? Yep, it's called unsplash.com. 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 You can use them commercially. They're all free reference photos. That's where I got this one. That's where I get most of them from. So there you go. Um, have you heard of the Munsell color wheel? Yes, I have. I couldn't tell you what it is, but I've heard of it. <laughs> I remember it, kind of. Do I paint in triads? Sometimes I do, intentionally. Um, yeah, sometimes I do, but other times I just... I, I kind of go intuitive. Yeah. I, technically, Google Maps is copyrighted, so technically you're not allowed to use Google stuff, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're technically not allowed. So Un Unsplash is a good one. Morg, Morg File is another one. <laughs> I know it doesn't sound good, but Morg, Morg File is another one. If it's, I don't know if it's still still out there as much. Pixabay is another one. So there's, there's a few out there that you can use. And those are free to use commercially, so you can sell your art that you create from them. 
um, without any issues for copyrights or whatever, you know. No legal troubles. If that's even one of your concerns. So that's pretty good dark, I think. Can someone send their own picks for you to try or has anyone? Um, they could, yeah, but not, I mean, I've done that. I did like commissions like that, like dog portraits and stuff. I think Cubs win has sent me some to do. I uh, haven't done much of that, but yeah, that would be cool. That would be a cool challenge, I guess. Try to make something out of you guys' photos. Yeah, all the Google stuff is copyright. Um, you know, you would think like, oh, it's the world though. You know, it's the earth. They're sharing it with everyone. But no, it's all it's all copyright. You can't really uh, use their stuff. You know, I, I just said, I just kind of was like, eh, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Because I kind of modified it, you know? I didn't really keep it exactly the same. But, uh, yeah. It's it's one of those things. Copyright's always a bummer, you know? But that's what you got to deal with. <clears throat> oh, which one did you send me, Lane? I don't remember. It was like a year ago. I can't really keep up. Uh, I'm getting old. Okay, let's see. Stay focused here. Stay focused. Let's see. It's hard to tell what's going on on this ship. But I don't really care what's going on, you know? It's more like I just want to make... make something out of it, you know? Something like that. For now, at least. Maybe bump this up slightly. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. Yeah, I remember. Your dog. I remember that. I'm sure I still have it. Still have the email. What's going on, Ben? Thanks for tuning in. Okay. Let's see, where do we go with this one? Where do we go? So these like light shapes here, they're kind of like umbrellas, so I'm going to keep them. Keep keep some of those shapes. Um, I can do, let's see. Some windows in the background, not a whole lot. We'll just try to suggest a few. I'm gonna need some darker shapes here. Maybe, uh, you know, I could put like a chimney up on one of these too. Some of these. I like chimneys and things. Oh, anyway. <clears throat> I think all these buildings need a wash because they're kind of the same as the sky. So I feel like I need to darken them a little bit, but I, let's let's go into these boats first. That's the boats in the water. That's the main it's the important thing. We may just need a little bit of color there. I know what I'm going to do last, these masts and the rigging on the ships. It's going to be the last thing, but I know right around these ships here, it's get really dark and some, I want to put like a red stripe on there and maybe like a blue or yellow stripe on the other one. Um, maybe green at the bottom and some, you know, some like a little focal point to attract your eye. That's my goal. That's my goal here. Um, I may do another wash lightly over all of this, or maybe just toward the bottom there on the sh for the reflections. 
trying to decide. I'm still thinking a lot what to how to continue on this thing. I guess let's jump into it. Let's jump into it. Just getting up dark color, transparent red oxide, ultramarine blue, ivory black, maybe a little of yellow ochre. Something dark and warm, I guess. Spray that just slightly. Just wanted to melt the top a little bit there. I know it looks really dark, but it's kind of what I want. It's not kind of what I want. It's exactly what I want. In between the boats here. Kind of this dark left here. Soften that edge just slightly. And then we'll bleed that down as well. Okay, let's do this water. I think that's the next thing. We'll try to connect all this all this together here. I think I quite like that. Try not to do too much there. Uh, just send me an email, Ben. We can send me an email. We can do a commission that way. I uh, usually for commissions, like I'll send you a, a private link from my website, and then you can pay through there. You can do like credit card, PayPal, like whatever is easiest. You can Venmo me if you want, you know, like whatever, you know. I'm open <laughs> for anything like that. So. Um,
So what is all this back here? I don't really know. It's just kind of there. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of there. It's not really important what's back there. So that's what I'm trying to keep in mind. It's like, you know, it's not really important as long as we just make it look like something. As long as I just am I'm telling your brain like, hey, there's something back there. We don't really know what it is. Bunch of stuff going on, you know, bunch of stuff happening. But it's not too important. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that's really dark. And it is. It is really dark. So the color of blue that I used for the water and stuff, you know, everything is just grays. Everything's just grays. Um, ultramarine blue with transparent red oxide, a little bit of ivory black, stuff like that, you know. Um, just a mixture of those, but mostly ultramarine blue. I'm going to try something here. Let's see what happens if I go really blue with this right here. Be interesting. <clears throat> so I know I'm gonna have this. This kind of painting is so hard to plan because I just I don't even know where to go with it, like, I want some, it's kind of dark shapes here for like windows and stuff. And I'm not sure if they're, I think they're sailboats. They have, they have big masts on them that I'm going to paint in. And I don't, I mean, maybe you could, I guess you could row a boat like that, right? Yeah, this is Copenhagen for sure. Definitely is. Uh, my day's going good, Thompson. How are you? Yep. I think I'll add like, I'll do like a light glaze of the, the building and stuff. And that, I think it'll really bring this thing together. But um, I might have to use a smaller brush now. You're welcome, Lane. Smaller brush, maybe. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit. Just for a few seconds. Nothing too long. I want to try to. There's kind of like a. Lighter line on the boat and stuff. Try to put some of that in. It's just suggesting things. It's not like, I'm not trying to paint details, like I'm not worried about all that. I'm worried a little bit about here. That's where I want kind of the focal point to be. So just trying to make everything else kind of, and I can't really put the mass on these boats till I do the building. So I'm just, I'm slowly figuring things out here where I'm 
where I'm going with this, you know? Like this area here, like what? I'm missing some stuff here. Sometimes I gotta sometimes I gotta get up and stand back just to see it better. See what I'm doing. Try to continue that dark throughout a little bit, even into the background slightly, even though it's a bit further back there, but uh, just need a little more shape there. I think that's good. I feel like I can paint better like this. Hope you guys can still hear me. Yeah, I mean, the colors on the buildings are what attracted me to the photo as well. But I realized that I can't have them be too crazy colors because it'll distract from what I'm trying to say. And I don't want to distract. Like, you know, I, I did want them to be stronger than they are. So I kind of failed at that, but it's okay. I just wanted... Uh, So I'm getting like cadmium red with yellow ochre now. Just trying to mix up kind of a burgundy-ish or some kind of reddish orangey color. And I wanna put this on one of the buildings, kind of glaze it back here. Maybe on this building or this one, or maybe in between. Too much, too much back there.
Okay. So that's where we're at right now. I think that's cool. A little sharp there, but I think that's a good good sense of color there. It's a good value for the color, not not too overpowering. Still doesn't distract from my focal point, I think. You know, it looks it always looks more saturated on the screen, but um uh looks better in person, I will say. Uh, okay. And I think what I want to try to do Yeah, I do I have more confidence when I'm standing back away from it, for sure. Uh sorry to hear that, Ben. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do some windows or something. Let's try it. I can at least try just a few dark shapes, nothing too crazy. The too dark. Right. Get back into these boats now. So I'm going to have to figure out what kind of brush to use. I think I'm going to use this one. It doesn't really get as pointy as I like. So believe it or not, I'm going to try to use this, this brush for dry brushing these masts in here. I think that's what's going to come next. And this is all pretty dry. So I feel confident about everything so far. I mean, the background, it's not too overpowering. At least from what I'm seeing, maybe it looks crazy to you guys, but it looks fine to me. Um, can I get rid of some of these? Kind of gaps there. Okay, there we go. Um, Will this be for sale after it's finished? Of course, of course it will. Thank you for that segue. This is a good time to say, uh, I have a bunch of stuff for sale or just a few right now, but always putting more up on my site, uh, a lot from last year that I painted as well. Uh, SchaeferFineArt.com, check that out. I got drawings as well, pen and ink drawings, all at my website. There's also ways to support me. You know, if you want to do a commission or something, anything, if you want to donate to the stream, uh, I got a support page as well on my website, SchaeferFineArt.com. Be sure to check it out. Also, if you made it this far into the video, if you're just tuning in, please hit the like button. Please hit the like button. It's going to help YouTube push this to more people. So, uh, and that's going to help me. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Thank you, folks. All right, I'm going to do these... Uh, I think I'm gonna dry brush these masts in here. These are really important. This one's probably the most critical one. So maybe I'll 
I'll test myself with one of these other ones first. Uh, just to see what I'm working with here. Put one back here just to something like that. So it's a little dry, but I think it works. You know, and I can I'll, I'll try to put more of a boat shape back there in a little while. I just didn't want to put too much detail in the background with and then ruin kind of you know, I don't want to put too much detail where it's not needed. So I guess that's my idea. You know, these kinds of lines, you can only really do it once. Like there's no, it's not really second chances when it comes to watercolor like this. So, <laughs> you know, if you want it to look fresh and this is a long line and my paper's a little wavy but we'll try it. You know, that's a little thick. I didn't really want to do it like that, but um, it's okay. We'll do better on this one, I think. Oh, not really. Not bad, I guess. That one's a little heavy, but uh, it's okay. We can live with it. We'll live with it. Yeah, don't really want to touch these again. We got one here as well. We need a little more pigment for this one. like that. It's probably a bit thicker actually. Oh. Well, not going to be perfect, but that's okay. Don't really need it to be. Just spray that a little bit, soften it, and it'll be fine. Just got to be confident, right? I think I missed, did I miss something? I missed a question or anything? How do you plan on getting back those bright lights on the, on the buildings back? Uh, if you plan to at all, uh, I don't really plan to, you know, I, I could paint in some lighter ones with some white paint. Um, I might end up trying that just a little bit, bring it back some of those, you know, I could do that right now. I was thinking about doing that, just see what happens. Um, so what I can do is just really thickly use a little bit of water. See this white paint? It's kind of a warm white. It's not really white, but basically just use the least amount of water as possible. It's still, it's kind of wet right now. So just wipe my brush off, try to get it really dry and uh, really thick paint. I can just go in and dry brush in some like this. You know, does it really add anything? I don't know, but it's easy to overdo. But that's one way you can do this. Can I complete this art in one hour? Uh, I'm about five minutes away from doing it in one hour, so maybe. Yeah, probably could. What does it matter if I do it in one hour or not? What are you guys thinking? Nobody's really saying much, so I don't know if I ruined it and everybody's just like, you know, everybody's done now, everybody left because it's ruined or what? <laughs> Do 
I get, I get nervous when no one says anything. Just quiet. I feel like I'm just painting alone. I ruined it. I don't know. Let's see. It's really darker here, maybe. All right, I got to focus on what's important. What does this painting need? Stop looking at the photo as much. Okay, I, I know one thing I needed that I wanted to do. Just remembered. I wanted to put a red stripe in here on this boat. Maybe a little bit of yellow ochre in it. And this is going to attract the eye. That's kind of what I want. <laughs> no worries, Jeremy. It's all good. I'm just, I got a little worried. I didn't see anybody talking for like, felt like five minutes. I'm like, oh man, what's going on? Did I lose everybody? Just want to make sure there's people out there. So I want to put a red stripe on this boat right here. Just like that. Maybe a little. I think that's pretty cool. Yep, no worries, folks. I'm just glad somebody said something. So I just want to make sure everybody's alive and um, make sure I'm live on this channel thing here. Make sure I'm not broadcasting to no one but nobody. I'll do a little darker red on this side to show a bit of shadow. And I think I'm gonna put I'm gonna put yellow ochre next to it. Something like that, I guess. It's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. So these ships usually have like this little sail thingy um, that they kind of wrap the sail into or something. I don't really understand it because I'm not a boat sail man person. But uh, I'm trying to think of the color to use. I mean, I guess I'll just use this red. Seems like it would work. Maybe a little darker. And like this. You know what I'm talking about? They have like this sail thingy something like that try to use let's see I'm going to use a different color for this next one. Blue there. Usually blue. But I just, I should have put blue with the red one because now there's too much red there. But it's all right. That's yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I probably went a little too dark and solid around this whole thing, but, uh, is what it is at this point. I really like the boat and the reflections and stuff. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I think we just need a 
A little more darkness right underneath boat there. Okay, let's not overdo it. Let's not overdo it. Don't want to overdo it. Okay, let's see. Well, not my greatest painting ever, but uh, still not done. Not done, but there's parts of it I like. Always going to be parts I don't like, I guess. <laughs> but uh, pretty happy with. I'm, I'm. I guess I'm surprised. I mean, for the amount of time I spent on this one, it's pretty good. You know, like one hour, not bad. I'm not done yet, but uh, getting pretty close, if I imagine. I want to try to. Put in a few more. I need like see if we can do this with this small brush. I don't know if it's possible, but I think this one's a little too small. Yeah. Okay. See that lane? Small brush is too small. <laughs> just kidding. Need just a little bit more pigment. Want to try to put in some rigging lines. Just a bit. Let's see what this looks like.
<laughs> yeah, just a little bit, a little bit of lines and stuff. Uh, it's a little challenging. I think these will be cool too if we do. We can. Off lines like that, maybe. Yeah, that line's a little funny, but uh, I need to fix it, but you can't really fix it. Just try to be confident about it, even though it's wrong, you know, or not perfect. Well, Yeah, uh, play some non-copyright music. Exactly. <clears throat> that could be cool to try, actually. So I just have music in the background, at least something playing instead of it being silent. I could try that. Could do that. <clears throat> play my own music. How about that? But that would get boring after a while. Uh. I don't know. Do we need anything else, folks? I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to do anything else. Am I missing anything? Oh, I did want to put in this little buoy. It's one buoy. It's kind of yellow. You know, this one's kind of lacking color for the most part. I'm, I'm a little okay with it. <laughs> I usually like a little more color, but... Uh... I guess we have to, have to compromise here a bit. See if we can darken that. Yeah, didn't really add much, I guess, huh? And a little buoy there. Yeah, I guess it did. I mean, it's hard to see it on the computer, but on the screen. Need some thicker paint. Let's get thick with it. There we go. A little buoy. A little reflected in the water a little bit. Buildings in the back need a bit more something. Yeah. I really love this part of the buildings. You know, I'm not a fan of this for the most part. You're probably right. Um, let me see. Probably just a bit more dark. Just very little, very, very little. Um, you know, we can try, because it is kind of lacking form slightly, but I don't want to put a whole lot back there because it's the background. It's supposed to be nothing, you know? But I think maybe some kind of shadowing back here slightly. Let me see what this looks like. Yeah, I think that's it. 
I think that's what it needed. Needed like some darker uh, stuff there. Mm. The only other thing I can do is I can try something. Don't know how it's, well it's going to work out, but we can try it. This brush is a little bit big. Trying to put like a little person on there. You know what I'm saying? It's probably it's so hard to see, but it's not really doing anything. Just trying to bring a little more light or something in there, but yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's all right, I guess. Let's try. Just a few more little strokes here and there. I'm trying to fix this area. It looks a little too square. It's like too non-organic. Like... Something like that. I don't know. To uh, to something inorganic. That's better, I guess. Okay. Those highlights are really bright, aren't they? I don't want to touch them though. You know, I could like glaze over those, to tone it down, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I think the only thing it could really use is maybe just very slightly. I'll glaze right underneath and then dark painted into that maybe yeah I don't want to mess with it too much but yeah I think that kind of helped gives them more of like a rustic kind of look you know old boats or something I think we should take the tape off and just see where we're at see if needs anything i think having the tape off would be very helpful at this stage because i'm not going to do any big washes or anything near the edge i don't think so all right this is an hour and 15 minutes in so not bad work for an hour and 15 minutes i guess right i mean compared to the watercolor i did the other day this one i'm, I'm pretty happy with this one actually <laughs> like you guys can see the difference. So I did this one an hour and 15 minutes. I did this one in like two hours the other day. I just see the difference in like 
colors and how I handled things. And I mean, they're two different scenes, obviously, but it just shows you like composition and like color choices and the way you paint it. Like all this stuff is so important because if you don't have control of it or, you know, you're not a hundred percent sure of where you're going with it or you, this didn't turn out the way you thought, there's going to be a lot of issues. You know, I lost a lot of trans. The thing about this one, I just lost transparency in all of it. You know, and up here, I got a lot of transparent washes still showing more opaque stuff here, but more transparency everywhere. Like there's, there's, there's a mixture of everything. We got dry brushing, transparency, opaqueness, you know, there's just a lot of different things working for this one compared to the one I just did two days ago. It's just not the same, you know. Yeah, my only problem with doing like bigger artwork is I just, I just, I hate having it laying around. Like if somebody wants a commission or something, I'll do a bigger one. But like, I hate having bigger artwork laying around. And then like the shipping is always like such a pain. Like I don't really know how to ship bigger stuff. And I don't know like how to keep it from, you know, being, being destroyed or just you know, it's just one of those things where, like, I should do it. I should just paint bigger sometimes, but I don't. I'm trying to get some lighter red in there. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Hopefully, it's not going to stay that light, I don't think. But that's the color I was looking for originally. We'll see if that stays. I doubt it, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful because I used a bit thicker paint with a little bit of white in it. So ah, too much water. I'm trying to mix up another like lighter lighter blue because I want to try it on this this one yeah I think that's better looks better you know what's interesting about this this particular painting is is uh it's something I, I consciously thought about. No, I don't like using gouache, to be honest. Um, it's not as permanent, you know. It'll just wash off with water. Um, not that this is going to be, like, washed off or anything, but... Uh, what was I going to say? Uh... Did you ever try liquid mask? I have not tried it in many, 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 many years. Uh, uh, nice try T20 blast. I don't really care what you say about that, buddy. Um, brother. Um, okay, I'll sign it. I'll sign it. I'll sign it. I guess I'll sign it over here. Well, over here. Got to be over here, I think. I don't know. I have to figure it out. But uh, what I was going to say is interesting about this painting is that normally stuff in the foreground becomes warmer as it gets closer to you and cooler as it goes b back. And what I consciously tried to do was like, I knew I was going to have a blue boat in the foreground that would be large with something warm, more in my focal point attracting your eye. So I kind of reversed the uh, kind of the natural thing that we that as painters we kind of normally do. So, pretty interesting kind of concept, I guess. Switching the warm and cool and trying to make it work and balance a large cool shape and a small warm shape. But, um, yeah, anyway. I want to try one more stroke, actually, if you guys don't mind me to keep painting. Shipping isn't too bad. Well, you can ship all my paintings for me. 
I don't know how I would ship a large watercolor painting without it being like bent. And I don't want to roll it up, you know, because then people get the painting and it's all rolled. So it's like, what do you do? I don't, I don't really understand. How do you ship something like that without it being destroyed, or stepped on, bent? You know, you'd have to find big boxes somewhere. I don't even know where to find boxes like that. It just it causes another expense. It's another thing I have to worry about. I like, I, I like being simple, you know. And if I can just sell these small paintings all the time. And make a living doing money that way, like I'll do it like that, you know. I want to do a yellow ochre and white stroke right here. Let's see if this looks a bit better as well. A little bit better. I think I'm happy with it now. Yeah, hey, but where do you where do you buy thick cardboard? Like I don't even know where you would buy a cardboard. I I don't I I mean I guess you go like Home Depot or something or like see I have no clue about this stuff. You know I, I've never I've shipped a small envelope a nine by twelve recently, and I use a hard hardboard MDF board to keep it uh, with the watercolor painting. And someone sent me a photo after saying that the MDF board was like, the corner of it was totally destroyed. So. I've had a problem with small envelopes. So it's like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Cardboard store. Okay. I don't, I've never seen a cardboard store. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. <laughs> Amazon? Yeah, Amazon, that's probably true. Okay. Uh, let's see. What was I going to do? Let's turn this down a little bit. Uh, Guess sign it, try to sign it. I think I sign it over here uh, in some kind of color. <laughs> Not really sure what. Maybe red or something. I don't know. I don't want it to stand out a lot, but it's got to kind of stand out against this. Unless I just go dark with it. Hmm. Well, yeah, it doesn't stop me either, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try larger paintings, but I, for me, I just, I don't even like painting large. I just, I like painting this size and doing streams like this, and it's just fun, man. If somebody wants a larger painting, I got a whole closet full of giant oil paintings that I can't sell. So I think that's my experience is just like, why am I painting these large things that no one's going to buy? Like, it's just been a waste for me, you know, I've... Recently, like one or two months ago, I just I just threw away a whole bunch of framed paintings that I had. I threw away like 13 big, like, you know, 18 by 24, 16 by um, so. Yeah, the part I just don't like having a lot of stuff. I don't like having a lot of large stuff. I don't like having it laying around, sitting around. If someone's already bought it and it's a commission, then I'm happy to do it. But other than that. It's just not my thing, you know. I don't want to be. So. I just don't even want to worry about it. I just want to paint what I paint, how I paint, and just want to craft my life around the way I do things, you know. I'm a stubborn artist. Just trying to mix up some dark color here, I guess, to sign this with. Um, yeah, but see, I don't want storage. Like, I have room, but <laughs> that's the thing. Like, 
I want to travel somewhere. I want to be able to travel and paint. I don't want to, I'm not going to, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a minimalist guy, you know? I don't want to just hold on to all these paintings for no reason. It's like, what's the point, you know? It's just a, a waste. If no one's bought them in, you know, five years, it's like, all right, I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm done. Moving on, you know? <laughs> like, it's just how I feel about it. It's a little dark, but let's roll with it. There we go. Oh, it looks light to you guys. It's all wet. There you go. A little dark signature there. Yeah, give them away to who, though? That's what I'm saying. Like, who do I give them away to? I don't know anyone. I've thought about doing giveaways and stuff, but then I'd have to ship a giant painting. <laughs> we go back into the loop, right? You know, I'd have to ship these giant paintings, find boxes for them, all this stuff. It's like, then I'm, I'm paying for shipping, paying for the box, paying for all my time, trying to just give these away. It's like, I'd rather just throw it away. I'd rather just save my time and focus on what I like to do than waste all this time on other stuff. I'll give away small paintings. I have a ton of small paintings I'm planning to give away. Like I want to do giveaways like every month or like twice a month on my Facebook and stuff, you know, just do giveaways. But I just haven't focused on that recently. But I have a lot of small like six by eight oil paintings that I would love to just give away. But anyway, folks, that's it. Um, you know, kind of a gloomy painting, but uh, it's interesting. Um, um, yeah, so there we go. I don't know what else to say. I guess I'll show you guys on the webcam just so you see... So you get a different color, different view and colors of it. So, wow, it doesn't look good on my webcam, to be honest. <laughs> I'm getting, like, looks really dark over here, but. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, it's really not that dark, to be honest. Yeah, it's hard with these cameras with paintings. Paintings are always tough. The pen and ink, you can really kind of see what it looks like. But these paintings, it's always hard to see what they actually Look like I really like this one actually. I really like the balance of colors and grays and stuff. Definitely a challenge to simplify. Definitely a big challenge, but I think it gets the idea across. You know, boats back here that don't even look like boats, but I think our brain just fills it in. You know, like oh, there's boats. I don't know, but anyway. All right, folks, uh, I guess that's it for me. I got to get off here, eat some dinner and stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, as always. And uh, check out my website, shaverfineart.com. Got some pen and ink drawings on there for sale. Also, watercolors, just like the one you saw me do today. There's a few on there right now. Going to be adding more here shortly. And I also have a support page where there's different ways you can support my art and stuff if you're into that kind of thing. I also have music you can check out that I make on my band camp. So, um, yeah, definitely check that out as well. All on my website, as always. Thank you for tuning in. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks, everybody. Really appreciate you guys for being here. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I'm actually, tomorrow I think I'm going to be drawing, and you know, we do a pen and ink tomorrow, I'm going to be drawing a another commission of, uh, yeah, well, I won't tell you. We'll just wait till tomorrow, see what it is. But, uh, yeah, I plan on doing drawing a commission tomorrow. So 
um, with a little splash of color on the pen and ink. So we'll see how that ends up going. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.